Okay, let's uh, finish the UV layout for the inner ring here. Um, what I want to do is um, yeah, check out where um, exactly the UVs are here in the layout. So in mine, um, yeah, the faces here are, as you can see, if you select the, those faces here, uh, let me uh, just change the window size here. Um, Okay, so what I see here, um, I've got the two faces that I need here up here, and the next two next to it. If you uh, if you look at the UV texture editor, and the next two down here, and I've got the next two down here, and so on and so forth. So I want um, yeah, I want the next two faces here uh, sitting here. So to do this, I'm going to UV. So select those and move those into uh, the position here and then I go in here and select the next two faces uh, and they are down here so they have to be uh, on, on this uh, space here um, so yeah let me select those uh, all, all of those here and bring those here and then we select the shell here move those down first and those Okay, and then bring this guy here. So, yeah, you get the idea. Um, I think so. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then comes seven, eight, and it's going all the way around, yeah? So, uh, until we get to the first two phases that we had, so that we know where um, the right order is, okay? That's, um, yeah, later on when we do doing the texture or the bump map, uh, it's going to be easier. So let me pause the video for a second. And um, when I'm done with that, um, I will show you uh, my UV layout, okay? So here I'm back and this is how my UV layout looks like. Um, yeah, what I did is uh, taken all those pieces that we had uh, from Hedis and I brought those into a position. So, and I was, um, first of all, if they weren't rotated right, I was looking at um, yeah, the UVs here in the center. Uh, so, if you have to rotate them to get them yeah, all uh, lined up horizontally, and, and yeah, you select the shell, and then uh, yeah, you can definitely go and then rotate that. And um, I also, um, uh, took care about um, having those uh, center lines here uh, of all those pieces uh, yeah, almost in the same line. I mean, if there is a difference between two or three pixels, it's uh, something that nobody notices in the end. So yeah, this is um, if I take uh, if I scale that down here that window. So to show you that. So um, let me take that ring here and say Alt H so that we only have that selected. So when I'm going in here and I'm selecting here in the UV texture edi editor some faces, so the faces here from that guy, that's actually uh, those two faces here. And it's going uh, on and on. So like if I select uh, the faces here on that guy, it's going to be the next two faces. So you can see in the viewport. And again, if I select the faces here of the next guy, uh, if I can do it, it's going on. And so it's a, yeah, two faces here, upper left, next two faces is this piece there, and so on and so on. So you don't have to lay it out like this, but yeah, this is how I did it. And um, yeah, in the end, uh, when we put the bump map on in uh, Photoshop or something, that's um, it's gonna be easier, okay? Okay, so with that um, UV layout done here of that inner ring, let's um, go in and say show all. Um, so we got the UV layout done for the outer ring and for the inner ring, and now we have to take care about the uh, UV layout of um, this guy here. So yeah, we do the same process. Let's uh, select that object and say export it. Uh, export selection and I put it under my data and I say uh, wristband um, underscore wristband piece okay so save that out and now let's uh, get back to headers here and over here we have um, 
yeah, still our ring uh, inside here, so let's uh, load. Uh, what's going on? Load options. Um, let me close that window here, and then let's uh, select that wristband piece. Okay, double click on that. So I'm still on that folder. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can't read this sort of PLY file. Why is that? I don't know. So, okay, let's exit headers here, and then let me restart that to check out if that works then. Should. So display, load, and then again head to my folder here. Maya projects, Rolex, Watch Daytona, data, wristband piece. And they. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, so let me pause the video and I will figure out what's going on here. Yeah, so I found the problem here. Um, yeah, it definitely had something to do with the instance objects objects here. Um, that's uh, something that um, headers can't handle. Um, okay, so to fix that, um, with all the instance geometry, if I had known this before, um, yeah, I wouldn't have instanced those, but it's not a big deal. So if you go here to your outliner and you select uh, one uh, object here that still has an instance here, with that selected, you just have to go here up to edit and then say unparent or um, um, use the shortcut shift P. So let me click on that here. So and there you go. It deletes, uh, deletes um, the, the instance here, but uh, you have uh, now your object here uh, and what you can uh, export. So what I will only take care about this one piece here. And I think I said it before, um, when we are done with the UV layout for this uh, piece here, um, we copy the attributes over to all the other pieces, okay? So let's um, go on. Um, let's take this guy and export this again. Export the selection as an OBJ and I overwrite that wristband piece here. Say so export selection and overwrite, yep. All right. so. Now we bring this guy into headers, so let me open up headers here, um, and then say load, and then say uh, wristband piece under your data folder, where, wherever you put it, double click on that, and there you go, no error, nothing, it's work, working out. Okay, so we got, um, yeah, not much time left until I get to the 10 minutes limit here on YouTube. So. Um, yeah, let me pause the video and I'll be back and we finish the UV layout uh, for this piece here. All right, see you.